The power enrichment system supplies additional fuel to the main system during heavy load or full power situations. Holly carburetors utilize a vacuum operated power enrichment system and a selection of power valves is available to time this system's operation to your specific needs. Each Holly power valve is stamped with a number that indicates the vacuum opening point. For example, the number 65 indicates that the power valve will open when the engine vacuum drops to six and a half inches or below. An accurate vacuum gauge, such as Holly part number 26-501, should be used when determining the correct power valve to use. Keep in mind, a competition or race engine, which has a long duration, high overlap camshaft, will have a low manifold vacuum at idle speeds compared to a stock engine that idles around 18 to 20 inches of vacuum. For any engine and transmission combo, warm up the engine first before connecting a vacuum gauge. Vehicles with manual transmissions will give accurate vacuum readings while idling in neutral. If the vehicle is equipped with an automatic transmission, take the vacuum okay. reading with the engine idling in gear. When you do this, have a friend sit in the car and hold a foot on the brake pedal for safety. In all cases, the power valve used should be rated at half of the intake manifold vacuum reading taken at idle. For example, a vacuum reading of 13 inches divided by 2 equals 6.5, so a number 65 power valve would be required. If your reading gets divided by 2 and lands on an even number, you should select the next lowest power valve from that number. An example would be a vacuum reading at 8 inches divided by 2 equals 4. Since there's no number 4 power valve, you should use the next lowest 3.5 inch rated power valve, which would be stamped with a 35. If your engine makes 13 inches of manifold vacuum or more at idle, the stock power valve is sufficient and no change will be required. Most of the popular Holly Street Legal and Street Performance carburetors incorporate a power valve blowout protection system. A special check valve is located in the throttle body expressly for this purpose. This check valve is designed to be normally open but will quickly seat to close off the internal vacuum passage when a backfire occurs. Once closed, the check valve interrupts the pressure wave caused by the backfire, thus protecting the power valve. If you have a carburetor older than 1992 or you've experienced an extreme backfire and suspect a blown out power valve, use this simple test. While idling, turn your idle mixture screws all the way in. If your engine dies, the power valve is not blown.